special occasions call for a special bottle of wine. When we celebrate life's precious moments, we feel more comfortable splashing out for something that's a bit more than our normal price point. We've had some of those occasions lately, and in order to get the optimum enjoyment from those wines, we chose food that matched perfectly with them. Usually, it should be the other way around. Today, we celebrate special occasions in the best possible way, with legendary wine and food combinations. Valentine's Day Parolo Night To celebrate Valentine's Day, we bought our first bottle of Barolo. Barolo comes from the Piemonte region in northern Italy and is considered the king of Italian wines. Barolo DOCG must be made from 100% Nebbiolo grapes and aged for at least 38 months. This Barolo by Marcarini comes from vineyards all located within the municipality of La Mora. It is designed to be representative of the characteristics of the soil from the area and can be enjoyed even at a younger age. As with most old world wines, it is made to be enjoyed with the local food. Piemonte's cuisine has a lot of game meats, risottos, and truffles. With that as inspiration, we whip up parmesan and truffle risotto and pan-seared duck breast and mushrooms. We tried the wine on its own and then with the food. And we have confirmed that indeed this wine was made to be enjoyed with these flavors. The high tannins and acidity are much less confronting and actually complementary to the rich and earthy dishes. WSET Champagne Celebration Julie and I successfully completed our level 2 award from WSET. As such, we couldn't have picked a more cliche way to celebrate. For this occasion, we decided to pop open a bottle of Bollinger's Special Cuvée Champagne. Personally, Champagne is not one of our favorites, but you can't argue with the sense of luxurious festiveness that it invokes. For this occasion, we paired it with a seafood platter of fresh oysters and caviar and crayfish. When paired with food, you focus less on the acidity of the wine and more on its other flavors such as pear, brioche, and walnuts. Champagne is the world's most famous sparkling wine made from the Champagne region in France. In the 17th to 19th centuries, the leading manufacturers made an effort to associate their wines with the nobility and the royalty, thus making them highly sought after and commanding higher prices. Opening a bottle of Benfold St. Henry Shiraz. This was an occasion in its own. Shiraz is Australia's most important grape and Benfold's is the most prestigious label known for their Grange wines. The St. Henry is an alternative expression of Shiraz and an intriguing counterpoint to Grange. Unlike other high-quality Australian Shiraz, St. Henry has minimal, if any, oak characters. It is quite rich and plush when young but definitely age-worthy as well. As far as food pairing goes, nothing goes better with this wine than a good old Aussie steak. We got some organic grass-fed scotch fillets, simply pan-seared. In the same pan, we added some mushrooms and made a simple sauce. Along with it, buttered green beans. It was absolutely delicious. Unlike the two previous wines, we found that this wine can be enjoyable to drink even on its own. To date, this is probably the Shiraz that we enjoyed most. As we continue in life's journey, it's important to stop and celebrate its little milestones. After all, the journey is just as important, if not more, than the destination. We hope we have inspired you to reach the next milestone to experience some of the finer things this big world has to offer. Until next time, salute!